Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the fabulous Las Vegas Strip for the seventh annual World Series of Beer Pong, presented by BeerPong.com. And now, this is the main event of the evening. The moment beer pong fans around the world have been waiting for. The moment we find out who is the best in the world at the sport of beer pong. The winning team takes all, including a $50,000 cash prize, a beautiful diamond studded dog tags by Pictures on Gold, and a custom beer pong table from Duvo, plus the bragging rights as the world's greatest beer pug players. And now, without further ado, the two words that make this final table official. It's time! Introducing first, fighting on the left side of the table with 17 wins, three losses, here at the 2012 World Series of Beer Pong. Team BoozingGear.com presents who is Bobby Williams. Featuring teammates Christopher Cross from Centerville, Georgia, and Christopher Kingsbury from Valdosta, Georgia. And now on the right side of the table, an undefeated with 20 wins and no losses here at the seventh annual World Series of Beer Pong are Ross Hampton and Matthew Lai. Both hail from Edwardsville, Illinois and are playing under the team name Seek and Destroy. The main event. We are at the final table. Brian McFade from JT Tongan, Paul Rawson, and of Pete course, Rawson. Yeah, Pete Rawson. Pete Rawson. Sorry. It's okay. I missed that up. It's all right. I miss you, man. I know. And of course, Christian Brockman. This is it. This is it. It's the finals. This is what we all this been is, waiting for. We, we've been here for four days. Countless hours. Some, some longer. I've been watching these men throw balls into beer cups for four long days. And here we are, finally at the big dance. The two best teams right in front of us. It's quite an event. Final two teams. Here we go. Team of St. Louis, Team of Georgia. This is the widest I've heard this crowd since we've been here. It's the suspense. They know how big it is. It's $50,000 on the line. $50,000. And you think about this, too. The, the, I, the odds on favor here would be seek and destroy. They're undefeated. They have not lost yet this whole entire series. 12-0 in the prelims. 8-0 in this final day. They're on the feeder right now. They're the favorites. Going up against Boozing Gear, who's uh, nine and three, with a cup differential, differential of uh, 32. Here's the first shot. Yeah, they're ranked. Boozing Gear is ranked 61, up against number one ranked Seeking the Strike. Oh, we're well underway. Sinking cups right off the bat. I'm not gonna lie, they're both. Both teams are wearing black shirts. It's kind of throwing me off. I'm used to a shirts and skin kind of situation. This has got to be intimidating because they've been sitting around for, like, I'd say, for, for quite some time to get ready for this final table. You, this is what you practice for. So you train for all year round. You train for this moment. You dream about this. You go to sleep wishing and hoping and praying you can make this final table. And here they are. So this is it. That's two out of three. Now, as your resident distractions oh, expert, wow. I'm kind of looking at what they have. It's not as flashy as your Rod Hamilton. It's not as flashy as your your Reap from from Mangering. They're, they seem to be a little bit more the, subdued. They're more into sinking cups and less into distracting as some of the other teams. This is definitely, these guys are definitely the, the quietest of the top teams that we've seen today. Big miss right there. Nerves are getting in. They're barely putting up a fight defensively. No they're, they're just kind of standing around and maybe kind of bending over a little bit. It's, it's nothing like what we've seen in it's games past. It's like past. your brother's basement. 
No trash talking, nothing. Oh, now it's coming up. Now it's coming up. It's like, you should have had a perm. It's it's (laughs) really not that bad. Are perms in? I so wish they were in. Would you get a perm? I would get a perm. You got good hair. Thank you. Big miss right there. Boom, get it out of there. Just to Kembe Matumbo, that ball right out of there. Once it hits the cup, once again, ladies and gentlemen, you can swat that ball away, lest it get back in the hole, which you don't want. If it's in the hole, that's they lose a cup. They lose a cup. You lose cups, you lose. You lose, you lose, you go home. Huge shot coming up. Oh, he oh wow, the table moved. See, white boy is uh, very nervous right now. I mean, you can tell. It's just, this, is the, this is where it all is. The nerves are here. $50,000 is on the line. $50,000. i would be a little nervous, too. Yeah, I, I'd be a little nervous. There's the singles oh, there champion right there. He won Boom. the uh, singles champion at the World Series of Beer Pong a couple, two couple days ago. Just the boss. Classic. The boss. $5,000 is... richer. And he's going for more. Juggernaut's ready to go, though. He just did his second cup. Needs his partner to step it up, though. Kingsbury needs to uh, bury the shot. Ooh. Oh, rattles home. around the rim 25 times. That's what I call that. Rattles you home. You asked me earlier home. what I call that? Around the rim 25 times? Around the rim 25 times. Around the rim 25 times. Around the rim, wherever it goes, as long as it goes in the water, it's a cup. In the holes. And they get a good third ball. The, the whole key of this, Other you hit both shots with that third ball. Tipsy. What goes through someone's mind at, the, at a final table like this? I mean, I mean, right win. now you got team. You got team. Kingsbury taking his time. Buries the shot. Buries it right in there. They take a commanding lead right now. Adjusting the cups. Lead. Yeah, they're down to six cups now, so they, re, uh, they readjust Seeking the rack. Destroy needs to hit some another. cups right now. My man right here is a little nervous. He missed his first couple shots, but uh, he needs to focus and bury this and show why they're here. Oh, now the score is six to eight. Row. Six cups to eight. But you got the boss on your side, singles champion right here. It's got to be a, 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 probably not as much pressure on either team because it's best two out of three. It is best two out of three. The boss hits a big cup, but you want to get that game one win. You get that game one win, and you have a commanding lead. All you need to do is win the next one, and you're the champ. Oh, oh wow. Juggernaut is on fire though right now. I think he's at three in a row right now. He is knocking him down. How does one ex- one's equilibrium hold up? After a week in Vegas, I'll tell you how, Brian. It know. doesn't. <laughs> JT. I jest, but these gentlemen, I'm telling you, they've been going at competition really hard for four days, four strong days. Oh, oh wow. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Yeah, King Curry is being punked out Crowd disapprovingly. That's got to that's gotta be a heavy toll on one's mind. Disapprovingly. We just got to step back, refocus. Especially when you get a kid like White Boy, they're undefeated. They haven't lost one. They gotta be coming in with so much confidence. Oh, and he, and he sinks it. Just sinks he it. Just gotta refocus and hit cups. That's what he did. That was huge. And they get the third ball back. I don't wanna say the word destroyed, but I just did. <laughs> Seeking Destroy is definitely in major trouble right now, especially if uh, Kingsbury can knock this down. I think you should give the ball to Juggernaut. Juggernaut was hot, but he did just hit a big cup. These guys. And any one of your, you, you can decide which, which part. Third goes ball, up. anybody can take it. You know what, what I think is worth noting is that all of the oh. other, all the other competitors are here in attendance. These stands aren't necessarily filled with fans; they're filled with former competitors, who are, whom are also fans. A lot of respect for both teams. Correct. Very Absolutely. Much. Big shot at the seven, ball. They're just looking at seven to seven, five. The boss. Yeah, they just want to see who won. Seven to five. The undefeated team of Seek and Destroy. Big shot right there. Is on the verge of losing their first match. Oh, he's oh, missed again. Oh, that was huge. White boy is in trouble. Didn't White see that boy coming. Their clutch this whole entire. He needs this to whole entire Oh, he's giving himself the choke missed. sign. International symbol for choke. Ooh, juggernaut finally misses. Whoa. Uh oh. 
the trash talking beginning. He said, you suck worse than I do. Oh, big wise shot. words. Oh, wow. Big shot there, Kingsbury. Now, are you fatigued when it comes to trash talking? You can bet very much you, you so. You don't really think too much. You can definitely. You score can definitely right now can. is six to three. Make that Finally, six to four. He'll take that shot. It wasn't the shot he was looking for. He's aiming for the front cup, but he'll take that shot right there. He'll take that. And they can tie the game up. If he can get this ball back, they'll get a third ball with a chance to tie it. This is big. Gets it back. Oh, wow. He has a chance to knock this down and tie the game up, which the would boss, be The boss, the single, singles player champion. Just dropped it in this there. Tournament, just dropped it. It was like, like ease. It's like throwing balls and cups of beer. Boss is, he is the boss right now if he can bury the shot. Oh, oh wow, that's two in a row for the tie boss. Tie game. Tie game. Give your hottest player the third ball. The hand. And he takes a drink. This is big. Ooh. Oh, wow. Up. That gives Seagan the straw. Couldn't control connect. Right now. Even if Kingsbury hits this, they can bury three and and put them in rebuttals. Big shot by Kingsbury. All right, we had Duncan, the announcer, also one of the execs of the, the whole thing, come on in and Coming in, he's interviewing, making calming sure that him down. No rules violations. What's the advantage of winning the first game? I mean, you win the first game, that's it. One more game to go, and you, you have the pressures basically all off. You just need that one more victory and you're walking home with that check. When you lose that first game, now you're thinking in your head, we have to win two more games, or it's it. it was everything, all the pressure's on, every single cup. Seek and destroy, though, right here. The last thing you want to do is have a mental breakdown at the final table. It's a difference of $5,000 to $50,000. Well, that's what it makes. It's winners, or winners and losers that separates you. Can you focus and not have that mental breakdown? It's all about, it's all in the head right now. It's all in the head. You can go back to Georgia, $50,000 richer. Or you can go back to St. Louis oh, with a load of cash in your pocket. White boy is uh, not shooting too good today in this game. He's been shooting good all tournament, but he's got the boss with him, which is huge. He's down on himself, too. He's beating himself up a little bit. Because he knows he's better than that, and uh, he just got to get his game back and refocus. All right, call me crazy. Well, now it gets to a point where cups up here can take a toll, take a toll on your body. Yeah, he does. This whole tournament it takes a toll. This is a marathon. You lose your focus. Oh, that was huge. boy. That was huge because uh man right here, Kingsbury, he can bang. down to two cups. It's, it's three to two right now. He's got the ball. He, if he hits this, he can set himself up with the third ball for a last cup and put Seek and Destroy in moving right him. along. Do you think it's something like this that you should be, you should, each team should have a timeout? Well, you, in between games, you can take a little bit of a timeout, but during the game, you got to get it going. No timeouts during the game. Boom. Oh, wow, that was a clutch shot. Wow. Down to the final cup. And they Unbelievable. Hit the third ball. Who's taking it? Definitely Kingsbury. He's been on fire. Juggernaut has done his role today. He hit his cups. Now Kingsbury is about to close. Can they close him out and put them in rebuttals in game so one? So he sinks this. Seek and destroy has They're to rebuttal three. They're one game three. away from $50,000. Seek and destroy has a chance to rebuttal to force overtime. Okay, that's good to know. But they have three cups there. And Pushing them back. Three. Huge shot coming up. Huge shot. Pushing them back. Oh, 23 times now, around the rim. We all know what that's called. How many times? 25 times around the rim. 23 this that was time. 23. Oh, 23. Oh, you, you Did you not here. count that? You got great eyes. Seek and destroy. It might be down. It might get the first loss of the tournament right now in the finals. That's not time you want to get it. White Losing boy gear up one. all tournament. They have to bury hasn't three. done too well so far this final match. White and boy he hits sinks it. it. That's clutch right there. That's big, and that also can help see Rocket him. It's what him. these guys have been doing time and time again. And that also can help propel him for the next game or overtime. The boss. The boss. I'm going to call it. This is the most dramatic sport cup right now. in existence. <laughs> one miss, and game one goes to team from Georgia. Here comes the boss. Who's in gear? Oh, let's all adjust the table together. Kind of a weird, kind of a weird move, Singles if you ask me. champion, the boss. Trying to save his team's first. Missy. Oh! Missy. One to Boozing Gear. Stick a fork in this one, my friends. That's a bit of an upset because it's their first loss. All tournament. All, All tournament loss. That's the first loss this Seek tournament. Destroy loses their first match in the finals. The best out of two, uh, two out of three. So they're they're on the they're on the cusp of losing this entire tournament. Which means Boozy Gear is on the cusp of winning the entire tournament. Fifty thousand dollars in their pocket. Fifty thousand dollars in the pocket. 
Well, it wow. kind of goes back to the concept of streaking. You want to streak when it's happening. I'm not talking about running around naked. I'm talking you about know, my pops when you told me to do, My pops told me to do things in moderation, and it's very difficult to be in a tournament like this and do things in moderation, especially when beer's involved. Your equilibrium is kind of shot. You're in the final. Your fatigue is set in. Your knees are a bit wobbly. You probably don't have as much... I mean, you've been, Br Brian, to some degree, but these are professionals now. They tend, I think, I mean, they drink the minimum amount. I don't think that they're drinking recreationally in between games. I think they just drink the required yeah, they're amount. Just I'm watching the to boss get the job all done. cups with beer. <laughs> He's filling <laughs> some cups up. Or not booze, but beer is definitely a factor. I stand corrected. <laughs> I mean, it's all about now. It's just all about getting focused. You have to regroup if you're seeking the destroy. Like, listen, we just got what that loss. What does one do to wake up during this tournament? Slap your partner? Slap your partner, do some push-ups maybe, pour some water on your head. I've seen that happen before. Let your partner know that you traveled 1,500 miles to get here, and you don't want to walk away as a second place. You need. You I'm want a that fan victory. of smashing a cup of water, a plastic cup of water, on your head. I've one. seen that it's multiple times. Tactic. It always gets me pumped up. And if these gentlemen need any kind of pumping up, that's what they oh, should wow, do. Oh, wow, that's quick. His first shot. It starts it off. That's a great way to start out. Start out the second match. Back on track. Big, big shot though by Juggernaut again. He's doing, playing his role, knocking down that cup, setting himself Kingsbury up. Ooh, Kingsbury finally misses. It's hot all game though. At this point in the game, correct me if I'm wrong, gentlemen. It's almost kind of a, a strange occurrence if if they miss. I'm used to just balls going in the cup. And when they miss, it's like, ooh, whoa, oof, they're gonna pay for that. White boy. And the crowd will let you know. Who's who didn't have his best game game one. The object of this game. Oh wow, the and the table moved. The table moved, the cup went in, as long it's fine as long as the table doesn't get knocked over. Uh, but, but the white boy, it looks like he's getting back. He's hit his last two, going back to the last game after struggling mostly in the first game. They regrouped well in this second match. Sets it up for boss right now. There's Boston a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure on Team Seek and Destroy, and they're coming out blazing. They are. They the just their first a lot of pressure three, because three, if they right lose, now. it's over. Done. Four for oh, four. Oh, wow, that's, that's they start these out guys are in fuego. You can see Team Team Seek and Destroy getting heckled by. They've hit their first four shots. They're four for four right by now. Spectators standing outside the barriers. Juggernaut doing his thing though. He's slowly like. Boom, they're not just gonna roll over and die. Juggernaut, show, he's not surprising today. me. He's showing his role. Like he's not stepping up big day. time. You always have that number one, number two player in your team. The number one player must take most of the, the third kids balls. Got. But uh, Juggernaut though, look at him. He knows the whole, what's going on. He has he lets his boy do his work. But you have to hit your cups, and he already hit two for two. This is a big shot that Kingsbury. He needs to hit this to to keep the game as close as possible. Now, what kind of performance has this th this player given us so far on the, on the win make? Kingsbury right now, he's uh, one for two right now. He missed his first shot, but he was on fire last game, hit the last cup to win game one. So let's see what he can do right now. If he can hit it, it's a big shot. This move is very crucial. Taking his time. Buries it. And sinks it. Big shot. Nails it. <laughs> Game is tied up right now, folks. We're tied up six to six. Seek and destroy, though, has the balls and the shot of perfect game so far. They're four for four right now. Yes. I like the big he's one. Letting white, he's letting White Boy take over. White Boy has, has stepped alive this game, hit his cups. Affectionately known as White Boy. They can be beat. And with that, put the pressure on them. White no, they lose this match. They're walking away second place. Yes, they are. White boy misses. Oh, wow, that was huge. Yeah. There goes the Oof. perfect game. Yeah, Oof. Oof. That hurts. The, the boss, boss has been clutch. The boss is three for three this game right now. He said three. Look at shaking three his shot. head. Walking around shaking his head. There's no way to. Four for Champions four. don't do that. He boss is putting on a championship survival mode. Luckily, his, his partner one. is holding the. Everything together. What would be the record for most shots in a row? Well, it'd have to be 10 because it's 10 cups. Have you seen it? 
I have seen hundos before. Yep, definitely. They're called hundos. That's the, uh, I think, Reap coined that term. Hundo. Ha Reap hundo. Pete, have you ever achieved 10 cups in a row? I've actually did it out of Boston this year for the first time in a singles game against uh, uh, Shep, who actually from Massachusetts, who's not here today. He usually comes out, but couldn't come out for work reasons. He might have retired, I'm not sure, but uh, I did do that in one time in life in a singles game. Hats off now, to you, What we're Pete. noticing right here is that we were noticing shaking hands from both sides, bouncing the ball on the table, dropping it. Is, it, is that nerves? Is yeah, it it's, you're thinking about it. Like, or this is, is it a bit of tipsiness? The pressure is on these guys. I mean, look, they're all by themselves in the middle of the room. Boom. <laughs> Kingsbury's woken up, though. He just hit his three right, straight what's, shots. What's the score? What, what have we got so far, fellas? All right, it looks like we got five to five right now. So that's what it is. Ooh. Well, wow, that was a huge miss. Who wants it more? Boss again. He's four for four again today. He hasn't, he's keeping... Seek and destroy in this match right now. White boy needs Boozing to shake gear. this off. Oh wow, drop your partner. Oh, big miss. The fans are really getting oh, after boy. Seek and Destroy. See, I mean it's what happens. Like you, you you miss a couple shots, you know, pressure gets in your head. The fans drop get your on partner. You. They are just wow. the court. He's big rattled, shot. he's rattled the court. Big shot. White boy. I'm telling you what, he needs to get his shit together. I Kingsbury. talked to White Boy in between matches, and he seemed a bit out of it. Fatigue is definitely a factor. We've been at this for quite some time. Ooh, big miss right there. All right. They're talking, strategizing, trying to figure out how to beat. Pulling Losing the pieces here. together. Boss yeah, is going absolutely. first. They switched it up. Boss has been going second the whole time. They let Boss go first. Oh. Uh, See, he this missed is where it. Boss, who was on fire early, he needs his boy, his partner here, to pick him up and hit this cup. It's White tough to get him off. Up. Let's be frank. And oh, here it comes. Oh, He's doing the Tebow Ooh, with booze. Oh. Tebow drinking. Now, now that good. is a distraction I can get behind. It's a bit sacrilegious, if it's you ask me. It is, but it makes, you know, it's, it just makes more sense. Taking a sip of the sipping sauce. Kingsbury. Booz and Gary knows they have this. If they can hit these shots right here, Seek they know it. Seeking Destroy huge. seems rattled to me. They both seem they very rattled. They need to take advantage of this because you don't want to wake up Seeking Destroy. They're not as vocal at the final table as they've been this entire tournament. Big shot. Oh, wow, that was clutch. 27 times around the cup, Brian. You know how I say. 27 times around the cup, which I would, I'd have to say that would be a record here at the tournament. Most times around the cup we've seen. Juggernaut thus misses far. one right there. No, but it Sorry. just goes to show. Like Seek and Destroy, I'm really impressed. They're a younger team, they're a newer team. They don't they don't freak out. They Tito. their defense is not that aggro. They just make the cups. Pete? Well see they, they are oh, but, wow. when, but when you don't hit the cups, you need that defense. And right now they don't have that. And you need to get in the other team's head because that's also a huge part of the game. So in White Boy, he's Seeking Destroy it. needs to regroup. If not, like my grandpa used to say, they're about to screw the pooch. Boss with big shot again. Do you think Seeking Destroy could have better defense speed? Seeking Destroy, they need to do something. Right now, he just let him shoot. They're not saying anything. It's not they're doing, they're doing practically nothing. White Boy does most of it. Like, oh, now, what, but as you say that, White Boy is now trying to taunt Juggernaut. He is. It's about Juggernaut time White Boy does two. something other than walk around shaking his head in defeat. I think he needs to tilt his hat on the other side. Kingsbury, though, he's ready to hit uh, four cups this game. Ooh, where's the, wow. They just let that, if that would have bounced in, that would have counted. When once it hits a cup, you can swat it. And see, oh, he didn't, yeah. if it, that's he when you want to swat it away. He should have swatted that, because that, that popped right up one in. in. That's, see, he's, he's got to get focused in this game. You got to get in there. Do you think the fans have been a distraction? I think they hit the, everything right now is a distraction. It's but the boss the still on fire. Team. One, two, three, four, five, six. Had six shots, six cups for the boss. He's hit this game. Yeah, well, someone's, That's someone's holding six up cups. his end of the bargain over here. Oh, oh wow. He, he, can't, he can't buy a bucket anymore. Nah, That's he, gonna he's going to be a hard ride home. I tell you what, that kid's boy. done. That kid's done. Yeah, it's, I don't want him to be done, but I know done when I see it. Juggernaut, though. Juggernaut. Oh, that was huge. He started out hot his first two. He's now missed his last three. But uh, we got Kingsbury up right now. Who's hit four cups this tournament? This game, actually, I'm sorry. So we're sitting at 3-3, three, three, correct? We're sitting at 3-3. Three to three. So this is a big shot. That's crazy how White Boy has been off and they're still in the game. 
and they have a chance of closing well, the out. Well, the boss has been picking up the slack. The boss is definitely picking up the slack, slack right now. Big shot coming up right now with Kingsbury. Ooh. And a now, huge and now control. Has I didn't see the arc over. that I wanted to see on that one. Seek and destroy has control of the game right now. Because if the white boy can just hit this one shot, he gets the boss to give him the two cups to put them in rebuttals. So he this needs, is white boy's to opportunity to, to do something. Himself. This is where he redeems himself. He hits his cup, all is forgiven. This is about. time for each teammate to sit back and think about how they got here. Exactly. Why they are here. Recollect. They didn't come here to drink beer. They came here to walk away with fifty thousand dollars in their pocket and, and to win the two thousand twelve World Series of get Beer those Pong. Dog tags. About fifty million pounds Diamond of respect. Dog tags. This is huge. Oh, white boys. He can't do it. He, you know right what I've now. noticed so far? Oh. Is that white boy's been leading in, moving the table, and it's messing it's it's but throwing him off. It's he's his not, body it's, it's all about much memory. The shot. And he's not doing he's his own punishing shot. himself. He's getting too much in his own He's head. He's about right to now. get slap happy in does, a second. Does Michael Boss. Jordan run around uh, Boss, another one. punching Mr. himself in the face? No. He's got seven cups this game. Seven cups for the boss. Single hand to keep the team alive. Big Oh, juggernaut. that's a huge oh. miss right there. Juggernaut oh, is now I think he's kind of a crowd boy. favorite. Juggernaut's the white boy on their team right now. He's missed four it's in a row. It's interesting to see the crowd turn. They were once on the, on the side of Boozing Gear. Now they're on the side of Seek and Destroy and having so much respect for the boss. Which we should redub the clutch. Oh, oh man. right there. Kingsbury misses. The crowd is turning. Two cups to go. Uh, White boy wants last cup, so he's giving boss the, the two rack right here. The side by side rack, which is a difficult rack. Momentum could be a huge factor. A lot of players don't like this rack. You either just focus on one cup. Oh. He hits another one. Look at Mr. Clutch the coming boss in. Hits another one. Yep. It's that's his yep. eight one, three cups, cups to one. Yep. Seek and the destroy, is he's cup. showing everyone why they are in the finals. White boy can redeem himself by clutching. Oh man, he can't do it. There's a lid on that cup. Can I tell you how surprised I am that he missed that shot? That's no, I no, I can't. Because I'm not wow. surprised. Wow, Juggernaut just missed his fifth straight shot. Oh wow, this is huge. The boss could end the game. Force to deciding game three. And that's gotta be running through his mind. Kingsbury right here. White boy looks like he's about to fall over. <laughs> Still just guy regroup after that, drop the ball off the table, done it, he does a little bounce. Just gotta focus. And bury it. The crowd has been a factor in the finals. Definitely is. It's got into people's heads. I mean, you know, you're not used to this. You got the spotlights Who's down? used the, to this? The lights are turned down. The spotlight's on you. Ooh, big shot. That 20 times around the cup. <laughs> 20 times around the cup. Take this show. Oh, oh, that White was boy you. wakes up. White that boy wakes you. up. He stepped the plate and buried it. Now he's showing. He buried it. Showing who's number one with the, the salute. salute. The he salute. needed that one. Gaining the respect. Getting the crowd back into their favor, seeking destroy. He missed destroyed. his last six shots before he hit that shot. That was huge. Now Kingsbury and Juggernaut, they still have a chance to rebuttal, but they had one miss, and we're going to a game three for one game for all the marbles. Here comes a chance for redemption. And that could what are they, what are they chanting? They're chanting Midwest for a team from St. Louis. St. Louis, they're growing well, beer pong players out there. Standing ovation, won it last year. Seeking destroy this year. I don't know what they're doing. They're breeding them. This is where the crowd becomes an issue. They're counting the bounce. They are the human clock, <laughs> shot clock. Bouncing his ball and dipping it again. He is. He might be going a little too much. Getting his ball wet, and here's a shot. Oh, and he missed it. We're going to game three. We are three. going to a game three. This has been an amazing. Epic. Fantastic. Amazing performance. Fantastic. Both for both teams. Awesome. The 2012 World Series of Beer Pong is going down to the third final game. And final game. World Series Not of Beer so Pong. Not so far.
Pete, how do you, is this like the kind of finals you hope for? I mean, you always want to see this. You always want to come down to the last match, the last game. This is it. It's all for the marbles. You know, he can destroy. He's got a chance to win this whole thing. Let's it, see what happens. It was interesting to see that in the beginning, Booze and Gear were the crowd favorites because they were the underdogs coming in, coming in at 9-3 and three with a cup differential of uh, 32, going up against Seek and Destroy, who were undefeated. Haven't lost the whole match. And they gave them their first loss. Now Seek and Destroy has their first loss. They win the crowd back again. And next thing you know, Here we, we are. are now tied going into the final match. I want you guys' predictions. JT, what do you think? Who's going to take this down? Who's going to take this down? Well, I tell you what. Seek and Destroy has a real chance if White Boy can get his head right. I saw him kind of dropping the ball. Get that last crap, crap though. That crap might in the bed, if you will. Uh, but he kind of pulled it back, and I don't know. It's anyone's game. He at this needs point. to wake up. I think that's uh, the, what we saw in the beginning of the tournament is that he was probably the most spry. He's oh, 23 he, years old. The boss but is completely on fire. When when you're a little bit older and you're the boss, you're letting everyone know that you're in control. He probably has been doing everything in moderation, and the two. kid has probably been drinking just a little bit too much. It takes two. If you're going to get through this thing, if you're going to win it, it takes two solid partners. I saw one guy kind of falling apart when he brought it back. It's always you need two solid partners, and let's see what two and partners hit that amazing show up today. Well, that's to also the about the team. win for this for the second I know. match. After like 14 misses, he, woke up. he made what counts. Yeah, and that's hey. all that matters. You need your teammates to pick you up when you have that bad game, and the boss. He picked him up. He had eight cups that game. Let's just look at the stats right here. Boss started out four, four, missed two, and then finished with his last four in a row. That's so he gets challenge. eight cups in that game. White boy hit his first no, one. That's the boss representing. representing. What did White boy do that round? White boy hit his first cup, then missed six uh, here in a row. Here comes White boy that last coming one. right back in. He's tur turned out though. to be the crowd favorite. The boss has the most respect for sure. No, the, the boss is straight business. If White boy can actually pull something together, the two of them. Yeah, should win. They'll take it down. All right. Game three. This is it for all the marbles. Seek and destroy with the first shot. Our boss is taking it. Buries it. Stays hot. Starting off. That was huge. Now Stays who, hot. Who begins the game? Uh, the higher seed usually uh, gets choice. They want balls or, or uh, the first shot. Or wow, that two. was a huge miss. A miss. Juggernaut. He's missed one, two, three, four, five, six shots in a row, it looks like. Going back to last game. you got to be thinking. At, at this moment Ooh. in time, way to fall. He's you win apart. this last match, you're going home with fifty thousand dollars. This is it. They, they, Booze and Gear needs to refocus right now and be like, listen, we're here. We made it this far. We won game one. We need to win game three. It looks like White Boy's now the, the crowd, crowd favorite. Likes it. They call him White Boy. That's what ago. it says on his back. I just saw White Boy crack a smile. That's got to give you confidence. Oh, wow. And he's White oh, Boy has woken up. The crowd wants White Boy to win. Hole. White Boy has woken it's, up. Is it because they feel sorry trouble. for him? If White Boy wakes up, that's trouble for Team uh, Boozy here. Because it is Ross, the boss. Hampton took down the finals over Joji no one from can. Long Island. This is huge. And this is it. Boom. Oh, stays hot. You know what I like about the boss? Hot. You know what I like about the boss? He makes his cups, and he doesn't make a big deal about With it. his demeanor. Stay he insane. acts like he's been there before. He has and again! Okay. This guy is unbelievable. He just makes his cups, and he doesn't make a big deal this about it. This might be the, the best there, performance. I swap my heart for stuff like that. This might be one of the best performances I've seen in the, in the World Series Beer Pong Championship history. The when was the last game? time that a team walked away the, the winner and one of the members of the team to win the singles championship? When does that happen? I'm trying to figure if that even happened. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if that did happen. This might be a first for that, too, as well. If it happens. We'll see. Chuggernaut finally, uh, I think he buried a shot. Kingsbury's up there. Kingsbury. Though. Big shot by Kingsbury. That was huge. Big shot by Kingsbury. That's how you throw a ping pong ball in a beer cup right there. We're being schooled. White boy. It looks freaking easy, doesn't it, Brian? He can bury this. <laughs> but no. it's not. It's, it's not. It's not easy, but it looks like <laughs> White Boy's back in the game. He was off for a while. He looks focused, though. He looks different. Ah, 67. Nope, nope, nope. But you got to get the man right here, the boss, who's now going back to the last game. Is it seven straight cups? 
Seven straight shots going back to last game. This is big right here. Make that eight straight shots. Wow. Four for four in game three right now as well. Hey, can I be honest with you both? Yeah. He makes it look easy. He does. It's just, just It's not that easy. He makes it look at like all. It's simple. Still a game though. Let's see Kingsbury. There he gets that one home. That rattle a little bit. That was a two-time rattle. Juggernaut now. He needs to focus himself. He's oh. been uh white he's kind of switched roles. Him and White Boy kind of jumped ships right there. Buries it. Oh wow, that's big huge. Shot. I think they need to focus and they stop worrying ball. about what the crowd thinks. He needed that peep. He really needed that. He needed that. Big Just get time. himself going. He hasn't done much lately. And get the third Oh wow, that was huge. They buried oh, three. Oh boy. Kingsbury and Juggernaut. As you say, Pete, this is for all the marbles. All the marbles. There's no messing around at this point. Taking the top seed. Down all to the final the cups. We're down to the nitty gritty here, folks. Someone's going home rich and someone's just going home wasted. Sad, <laughs> upset, crying. Oh, wow. Didn't oh, wow. Oh, no, the, the table keeps moving. That's... It seems like he's using the table to hold himself up. Well, as long as he doesn't put his other hand down to do that, it's okay. You can lean on the table when you do that. But Grinding, okay. Grinding is hand okay. Down, you can grind okay. on the table. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but Kingsbury and Juggernaut, are, seem, they seem to a little bit, be a little bit more focused. Boss and again, does it boss. again. This is Mr. Like a glove. I, don't, I feel I like mean, Boss could single-handedly beat anyone here. If they win this game, you know, he's got to be the big argument to be up there in the top five of the world. I mean, he's definitely up there now. That number one ranking might change. And oh, the boss, boss is now speaking. He's helping White he Boy out. It. He is, but big oh, shot. Wow. They, Kingsbury they do not it's employ. down. Kingsbury's at four down in a row. Down to the final two cups. This is a fantastic series, my friend. This is unbelievable. Oh. Oh Just boy. Just a bit short. Oh, oh boy. Right, here comes the boss. This would be an unprecedented what ten times? He's hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in a row. You're right. Good, good job there. Why stop now? I say. I say eleven in a row. We are seeing uh, the most unbelievable performance right now. This is. I haven't. This is ridiculous. Hey, we we wonder hey, why they're number up, one. Guys. We are tied up. No, we don't. We know why. Oh, wow, he's wow. he missed bad. Oh boy, someone get the gurney. Yeah, he he's missed about to fall over. Horrible. Oh. oh boy. Wow. King Juggernaut has woken up. If Kingsbury I buries this, he has a chance to win the game. Huge shot for Kingsbury. He buries this going down to the last cup. White boy doesn't have his knees. Ooh. Oh, that was a huge miss. Big, big. Oof. That's a big miss. Oof. Now White Boy. White Boy's gonna start. All he, he, this man is on so is so on fire now. If he hits the shot, the you boss is giving him a, almost a given. The boss is giving him a little bit of a pep talk. He's trying he, to give him as much say? confidence as he can. Take a deep breath, close your eyes, and toss the ball. Boss has only hit three of his last twelve shots. And this is another one. Wow, that's huge. Again with the head, just. Look at him. He's sulking. This is Here's not. Here's the boss. Can he keep the streak up? I expect more from White Boy. That's six straight I don't even this know game. the guy. Ten it, I don't like overall. to see him hanging his head like that. Mm. There's it again. How does he do this? He's clutch. This is a, more than it's a perfect two, game. Two. This is a legendary performance right here we're seeing. This is a legendary epic performance. If Seek and epic. Destroy walks epic. away with this win, White boy should get half of his. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> white boy should, should get be, two grand. He should be taking out, hit, taking hit Ross out with the, his half of the check. Kingsbury, big shot, two cups right now, two to two. We're all tied up here in game three, the finals. The crowd has started the shot clock. Oh, oh wow! Wait, oh, wait, 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 we might have oh, a there's some discrepancy. White oh, boy, wow, Dale Cross. No. First no. controversy in the finals. Big decision yep. coming up by this is a huge call. Huge call by Duncan. Let me ask you this. Dunstaff. If they determine that White Boy hit the cups before the ball, it either be a, it's either gonna be a reshot. Pete, or what, cup. What, what did you see? 
I saw him come across the side of the table. I don't know if he bumped it or not, but I saw him come across as he shot. And they're taking it to Cup. It's a Cup. Huge call. You can't do that, see? You can't do that. He needs to He needs to keep in, he keep his composure. He has his to. His equilibrium's I mean, all shot. Boston, you got the guy, you're the boss shooting great right He's now. He's putting his cap on sideways. He can't do that. Weighing Juggernaut him down. for the win. Oh. Oh, wow, that was a huge miss. Oh, snap. Huge miss. Oh, snap. Now, this is the chance for the boss. The, the boss can have to hit this cup. Can he keep the streak going? He's 7 for 7 this game. 11 for 11 going back to last game. He's carrying seeking to destroy on his shoulders. He has him put him on his back. He's being Michael Jordan right now. Michael oh Jordan! He is Michael would you, Jordan. Would you look Kobe at Bryan, that? It's Kamei down. Anthony, this, is, this is the kind of final that you want to see. Again, look, look at his boy. behavior. Once he makes cup, a shot, cup, cup. Ball he, just, for ball. he nods his and head and kind of walks around. White boy, get another chance to redeem no himself. Can he win the game? Can he hit the final cup to force Boozy Gear into rebuttals? If he hits this, the crowd will go nuts. Oh. Danny Mavin, he missed if it. If he hits this. He missed it. The boss, eight for eight. 12 for 12. This is huge. The boss has hit 16 of his last 18 shots. Now, if Kingsbury hits this, Clues and Crow's destroy have a chance at redemption, right? They do. But the, this is it. When it comes down to last cup, last cup, if he hits it on his first try, they only get one shot at it. If he misses and Juggernaut hits it, they get both get a shot at it. Okay. So this one cup right here is huge. This is it. One to one. Last cup, last cup for the finals. Oh. I was a little bit worried that White Boy was going to run into the cup again. Yeah, White Boy costs his cup. I mean, that's so hard. Juggernaut air balls. This is oh, huge. It's, a, it's an official air this ball. This is big. Oh, boy. The boss the is trying to calm down MVP. White Boy. I got to stand up for this one. He boss is, is the MVP. MVP. There's no doubt. MVP. 12 in a row. 14 of his last 16. Can he go, go a perfect game calm. in the finals? Can he hit nine cups in game three of the finals? And oh! the oh! oh, 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 a perfect oh, game in the championship. That's the best performance. Best game, right? Oh, perfect that's game. it, right? They have one, they have two, they have a chance. One they, chance. They have one, one chance, chance at redemption. One chance. One chance. One chance. And the team of St. Louis takes this it home. This is huge. Who gets an opportunity like this? Wow. That's all I can say. Nine in a row. Can we go to all we going to overtime? The boss needs to keep or is Kinsbury bearing White this? Boys composure. Who will be the champions of the World Series of Bill? This is huge. To say the least. Crowd is anticipation. Kingsbury, here it comes. Boom! Oh! We got champions! That was huge. The 2012 Win. World Series of Beer Pong Champions goes out to the boys from St. Louis, Missouri, Seek and Destroy. Unbelievable MVP. performance. The boss and the White boss Boy is decidedly the MVP of the series. 13 straight shots. Now we must win stay the game. tuned for. Our, our presentation of the $50,000 check, check and the second place check of $5,000 to our founders. Wow. Billy, Skinny, and Duncan. Unbelievable performance. You know, Pete, you're just saying it's single-handedly the best performance you've seen in the history of ever in the in World Series pong. of Beer Pong. 
I mean, let's, let's look at these stats right here. Game three, the boss went nine for nine. That is unbelievable, yeah. unheard of in a championship match with all the marbles. But let's go back to the last game, game two. He finished that hitting his last four shots and he hit eight out of 10 in that one as well. So th this guy put on a most amazing performance in beer pong history. And it looks like the big check is coming out. Let's go take a look. The founders with the $50,000 check. $50,000, wow. On behalf of BeerPong.com, the World Series of Beer Pong, congratulations, 2012 Beer Pong champion. from Seek and Destroy, and they were not lying to me earlier when they said they are gonna take it all. Yeah, they just won $50,000, and they're the World yeah. Series of Beer Pong 7 champions. How did you guys do it? Uh, just by playing well consistently, and then enough at the end, and just barely enough at the end. <laughs> now listen, you guys were undefeated in the prelims. You were undefeated all the way until the final round, and then you guys took one loss. There were three games you were gonna play. You lost one, did that get you down? Did that shake your confidence? Apparently not, that's why I had this check right here. <laughs> we had this check right here. Let's yeah, go. Right here. Let's yeah. go. We got this one, so we yeah. And let's talk about you, Ross. You were nine for nine in your last game. You hit every single shot. All the way back to the second to last game, you were. He is the best in the world. Tell me about how you were nailing shot after shot after shot after shot. I just could tell I needed to. I needed to. So did it take one? It, like, I, I did what I had to do. I did what I had to do. Are you guys still going to split this 50-50? Yeah, we are. We are. What are you going to do with the 25,000 each? We're going to live the best life in the world. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Is that just One last question. How does it feel to be the World Series of Beer Pong 7 champion? It is awesome. It feels amazing. It feels amazing. Let's do That's work, bro. Let's do work, bro. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. Let's Congrats. All right. Thank you, guys, for tuning in. We'll see you next year for the World Series of Beer Pong 8. Well, congratulations to Seek and Destroy, the 2012 World Series of Beer Pong champions. That was an amazing event. Like you said, Pete, this was the best performance that you had ever seen in the history of, and there's been seven of them now, a beer pong. Of, without a doubt, the best performance in a beer pong championship history. I mean, 13 in a row, nine and for nine in the last championship game with all the money on the line, with all that pressure, and you just stayed calm, cool, collected, and sunk them all. I'm speechless right now. That's, that's like throwing a perfect game in, in baseball. That's unbelievable. The boss killed it. $50,000, Richard. They go back to St. Louis, Missouri with all that cash in their hands. A huge fat check. And Kristen, that was an that amazing interview. Oh, yeah. I got, a lot of, I got a lot of great questions answered thanks to White Boy. So. <laughs> I'm sure we heard, we've heard everything. He's going to have the, the, the best time of, of his entire life. Exactly. But you know what? I have to say, if I was in that position, I'd probably be in the same boat, and I'd probably be acting the same way. Douse with champagne. Oh, yeah. $50,000 richer. You know it.
Well, that's it. We're gonna wrap up here in Las Vegas, Nevada, live on the strip. I'm Brian McFadden. Thank you so much, Pete, JT, Kristen. Good night, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Good night, everyone.